Robocop 3. Hey. Robocop 3, how's it going? Pretty good, how about you? Good, uh, go ahead, what did you think about Macklemore, like kind of the landscape of the Macklemore scene? What do you think, uh, you know, what's his worst moment? Well, I know uh, last year he did some things to actually end racism, but then he ended up screwing all of that up. Yep. And that sucked. And uh, my family's actually Jewish, so that uh, kind of hit me at home pretty hard. He's probably your your enemy now. Yeah, pers just personal enemy number one. So I gotta say, uh, screw Macklemore. We'll find somebody else to end racism. I wonder who's gonna be the successor. Yeah, I was wondering that too. Hmm. Who's up for that? Who right now could end racism? Not. I mean, Martin Luther King's dead. Who, who could do it? Hmm. As far as celebrities? Yeah. Uh, hmm. Didn't Ben they, Affleck go on Bill Maher's show and call him racist? I have no idea. He did. Maybe it should be Ben Affleck. But then again, he's fucking up the world by being fucking Batman. Batman. So... I don't know who is going to do it. I, I I really don't. I'm looking everywhere and I just can't think of... That girl it, from... Uh, what's the chick from... The, she's Mary Jane and Spider-Man now. Not Mary Jane. She was... Uh, Emma Stone? Yeah. What about what about her? She's pretty uh, uh, cultured. Uh, I don't need to hear about your celebrity crushes. Uh, I don't know if you got a thing or you're, you know, yanking your sausage over here, but nah, man. I'm here to talk racism. Um, but we can move on. Uh, did you have a question? Yeah, uh, I heard you were talking about a little bit about Ghostbusters and Indiana Jones earlier. Is there a series that uh, maybe has done some stupid stuff in the past, or like uh, maybe it's made a bad sequel or whatever, but you would still go and see it anyway, just because it's something that you like? Um, well, I mean, for me, I don't think like the Ghostbusters movies are the best movies ever, but if they had made a Ghostbusters 3, I probably would have seen that. Um, I just don't care about reboots and shit. I just don't. Um, but I'm trying to think. Uh, I'm sorry. That was bad. Um... That's a really good question, though. Something that... Uh, you know what? People give crap to the, the the sequels of The Matrix. And I agree, they're not good as sequels. And to continue it today would be a really dated, lame move. Mm -hmm. But if tomorrow they announced there was a Matrix 4, I would crack up and go. I would be like, but, okay, let's let's go. You know, I just think like, why not? Whatever. Here's a follow. Here's a follow up question. Would you go see the Matrix Four if uh, Keanu Reeves was not in it? Mm. Uh, maybe, but I wouldn't be really that into that. Yeah, because for me, it's the Alien franchise. I absolutely love the Alien franchise, mm -hmm. and I, I mean. I love all the movies for separate reasons. Like, the first movie I love because it's a legitimately a great movie. It's a great horror sci-fi. Second yeah. movie, not a horror sci-fi, but, like, just a great action movie. Yeah. And then the thir third movie kind of returned to, like, the first movie style. One alien kind of, not really horror, but more, like, suspense. And then fourth is just, like, I, I just treat that movie as, like, a cheesy B-movie you'd watch on Spike TV. Yeah, exactly. I agree with that. But, like, if they made another one and it was, I mean... If it was along the lines of Alien Resurrection again, I would probably still see it again as sure. long as Sigourney Weaver was in it. Because I've read, like, interviews that they have with her, and Sigourney Weaver is, like, she's even said, like, hey, if anybody's down to make another Alien movie, I'm totally on board. I mean, yeah. I'll read the script first, and if it's bad, I won't act in it. But, I mean, she was in Alien Resurrection, so I think she's pretty much down. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, I'm totally excited for the new uh, uh, Prometheus when that comes out. But if Sigourney Weaver wasn't in Alien 4, I don't know if I'd see it. Yeah, um... 
I probably would anyway. I mean, I, I have like the, I have like every single special edition of all the movies, and I just got the Alien anthology. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. Um, I think some things are personality driven. Yeah. Uh, which is my issue with the Ghostbusters remake. It's not. Um, it's not. Oh, they it's women. No, oh, they're they're gonna ruin it. Uh, for me, it's that. Why are we recasting? I mean. The reason why people liked Ghostbusters... It was those four actors together. It, it, people love Bill Murray. People, yeah. you know, Yeah, it was personality-driven. And it sucks because I feel like you can't... It's hard to criticize that or bring that up without it becoming like... A sexist issue. Oh, yeah, you want it to be all about men or you want to... But that, that's really not it. If they, were, if they recast it with a bunch of young men right now, I, I would be just as... I feel the same way as recasting Indiana Jones... Um, that role, it isn't like something like Lord of the Rings where the role existed before them. You know, Elijah Wood is great, but if they if they made a new movie and, that Frodo was in and they had some other great actor in it, I would still check it out. Um, but Indiana yeah. Jones was defined by one man. It was Harrison Ford. It didn't exist before his definition of it, and I just don't feel any need exactly. for anyone else to do it. Um, so... Uh, if they made a new alien, um, Prometheus was fine for me because it really tried to be something else. Yeah. Um, if there was an alien five and she wasn't in it, I'd, I would be a little bummed on that. And uh, if they made another Matrix without Keanu Reeves, uh, maybe it, maybe I'd go, but that'd be a pretty hard pill to swallow. I don't know. I probably wouldn't go see. I mean, I don't know. It it totally depends on like how I'm feeling that certain day, but I might not like go see the midnight viewing. I might go see it like in a cheaper theater or something like that, or I might just get it on Redbox when it eventually comes to Redbox. Mm -hmm. But I think it's worth seeing just because it's part of the, I don't know, it's part of the series. Yeah. I definitely have no, uh, I don't, I, I don't have any interest in seeing like another Indiana Jones, like you said, if, if Harrison Ford's not in it. But yeah. Yeah. I, and I, I just don't, I don't get that personally. Yeah, I just don't. I heard some of the people they announced for the next Ghostbusters. I'm not sure if that's confirmed or not. I just heard it on Twitter. And some of, like, I think one of them they said was Kristen Wiig. And, like, it's not that I, I think that she's going to be horrible. I just don't think Kristen Wiig is funny. So in a, like, a movie like Ghostbusters, I don't think I would enjoy that very much. Yeah. Um, I actually really like her. I really enjoy her. I think she's really, really funny. Um, personally, when she's in the right thing. But, um... Yeah. But I really wish she was in a new thing that was like that. Make something like Ghostbusters. I don't care, but I just don't. All that's going to happen is them being in that, her being in that, and everyone else uh, I'm recasting it. It's just going to be compared over and over and over. And I find that it's it turns into this discussion that's all about the cast and not about the comedy. It just sucks. I don't know. Is it is it the first movie exactly rebooted, or is it like just the whole? Oh, I don't know. I don't think anybody knows. All right. Well, thanks for taking my call, man. Thank you very much. I appreciate you calling in. And uh, hopefully, yeah. hopefully, Macklemore won't be in the new Ghostbusters. But yeah, if he does, the can theme, only, fuck him. All we right. Can only pray. See All you. Right.